The Samsung Galaxy Core Plus is a new 4.3 inch entry level smartphone and is expected to take its place among its brethren relatively soon. Equipped with a dual core 1.2 GHz processor from Broadcom and 768MB of RAM, it should hopefully provide an acceptable enough experience without breaking the bank. We had a chance to take a look at the pre production unit of the Core Plus, and here's what we found. On the outside, there's really nothing that distinguishes the Galaxy Core Plus from the sea of Samsung phones. It features Samsung's signature polycarbonate back plate, a plastic imitation of a metal frame, and a no glass front. Thankfully, and as always, the navigation keys along with the physical home button have all been placed on the bottom bezel, leaving more screen real estate for you to work with. The Core Plus is a very pocket-friendly device. It's a bit on the thick side at 0.37 inches, which, combined with its middling weight of about 4.67 ounces, give it a reassuring feel in the hand. Lastly, the amount of bezels on each side is kept in check, so there's a relatively good balance between screen and plastic. Samsung's reliance on AMOLED screens did not extend to the Galaxy Core Plus, which instead sports a TFT LCD panel. The 4.3-inch display features a resolution of 480 by 800 which is good for 217 pixels per inch. This may sound a bit on the low side, and it is, though the screen definitely doesn't look horrible. Unfortunately, there is no ambient light sensor at the front, so you have to work the brightness yourself according to the situation. The Galaxy Core Plus is powered by Android 4.22 Jelly Bean with Samsung's touch with skin on top. This is the more recent Nature UX 2.0 version of the custom software and it looks more refined visually. Anyway, this is not the most feature packed variant of the manufacturer's firmware, though it still has extras such as the driving mode, which reads incoming calls and notifications aloud, and Smart Stay, which tries its best to keep the screen on whilst you're looking at it. Moreover, the usual pack of proprietary apps like Chaton, Memo and Samsung apps are also built in. Powering the show from the inside of the Core Plus is a dual-core 1.2 GHz processor by Broadcom which seems to be handling itself with some dignity. In the memory department, we've got 768 MB of RAM and 4 GB of native storage expandable via microSD. This is not the first time we've seen Samsung outfit its entry-level warriors with a similar package, though it's worth pointing out that the original Galaxy Core was actually sporting 1GB of RAM instead. The Core Plus comes preloaded with both Chrome and Samsung's own internet browser, though it definitely felt more at home with the former as it feels modern in comparison. On the connectivity end, the Galaxy Core Plus does away just fine. It's got support for the now typical, including Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, assisted GPS, and 3G HSPA Plus speeds of up to 21 megabits. It comes with extras too, including an NFC chip and Wi-Fi Direct capabilities. A 5 megapixel autofocus camera unit is what we found on the back of the Core Plus, with an LED flash landing a helping hand in low light scenarios. Up at the front, the phone is outfitted with a lowly 0.3 megapixel VGA shooter. As to the camera software, we're given white bird to do whatever we please, as functionality is definitely not lacking. To that end, manual controls are available and so are a number of shooting modes, including panorama, night, sports and continuous shots. While a 4.3 inch screen does not scream multimedia hog, the Core Plus still offers a versatile and pleasurable experience. Watching videos is pleasant and flipping through the gallery is much the same. As per usual, the built-in multimedia apps like the video and music player replacements are more feature filled than their stock counterparts. Samsung has fitted an 1800mAh battery inside the Galaxy Core Plus. We obviously didn't put the device through our battery test, as this is a non-final unit, yet nevertheless it's worth pointing out that Sam is rating the battery as good for 9 hours of talk time on 3G and 320 hours of standby. Samsung is also committed to about 8 hours of video playback and 40 hours of continuous music listening. Samsung surprised with the Galaxy Core Plus as it went down a different path than usual. Considered to be the king of iterations by some, we usually expect Sami to introduce well-timed and strategized upgrades to the hardware of its different lines. This is not the case with the Core Plus, however. The phone has gone on a diet in terms of its hardware and is actually sporting less impressive specs than the model before. And while it felt like an adequate entry-level device, we're a little concerned that competing models from companies like Motorola will simply prove a better buy for most. This was Chris with Phone Arena, thank you for tuning in.